is Tim Dodd and this is XNA video tutorial lesson 4 um, what we're going to do is we're going to put motion to a game object uh, we're going to be adding keyboard input control to that game object and so we'll be able to manipulate it and move it around and stuff um, so let's get started all right, we're going to go to Visual Studios. Okay. Now you can either make a new project or you can open an existing one. I have one that I made, but it's pretty much just like the lesson before this one in lesson 3 where we made the uh, smiley object game object. Well, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to show you what we got. Basic, you, basically, you can look. I got a square object right here. Let's look inside there. And all I have is texture, position. Uh, in the constructor, I have uh, the content manager. I'm passing it um, to load the texture. And then I have two methods that are public update, which we're not using in this lesson, but we'll use in the future for sure. And then the draw. And I'm passing reference to the sprite batch. And then we're drawing the, the, the texture on the screen with the position. Let's go back to the game CS. In the load content, I have the main square, which is this. I'm passing the content manager and a new vector 2, which is the position on the screen. And then the draw, I have the sprite batch begin, which you can see I have some options in here which we'll talk about later some different options just use these options or you don't even have to use these options you can you can just say sprite batch begin um, then I'm passing reference to the sprite batch to our object to draw it now I'm gonna run it real quick now here's my square and you can see it's pretty plain and it's not doing anything, it's just sitting there. No functionality. You can see in here, in the content, that I'm using a PNG. Um, I like using PNG format just because it's got transparency. As, as you'll notice when I run it again around the corners right here you can see through it it's you know it's a rounded corner and you can see through it so it's a pretty good format to use now let's add some uh, movement in here okay I'm gonna go to the update now instead of adding the actual now if this was like your main character or something like that you probably want to write it inside the square um, but in this case just as an example so we can have multiple squares and they all aren't affected by the keyboard we're just gonna put them the keyboard control for this main square right here inside the update right here Now, next time I'll I'll use the gamepad, but right now I'm just going to use the keyboard. So let's go here.
What would keyboard state? Jeez, I can't write right now. Actually, I'm going to call this new keyboard state equals keyboard dot get state. Okay? So basically, in the update right now, when this code runs, it's, it's getting the keyboard state. So, let's go to the new keyboard state. Okay, so we'll go new keyboard state. Is key down, is key up. So let's do this. If, if our new keyboard state dot key is down, I'm gonna say if key is down, and it gives you a little pop up in IntelliSense, it says keys, and we'll say the A key. We'll say if the if the A key is down, and we'll say 